Hello and welcome to yet another episode from Pale Blue Thoughts. Let me start today's episode with a story. This happened while I was studying in college. There was a friend of ours who was an avid biker. Once he wanted to participate in a bike rally. However, he had a problem. He had trouble distinguishing between left and right. He was confused when faced with a simple instruction like show me your left hand or turn right. He would invariably show the wrong hand or turn the wrong way. We had made a lot of fun of him and kidded that he would end up somewhere else at the end of the rally. However, he still participated in the rally and he had taken a friend as the navigator. To all of our disbelief, they completed the rally even though they didn't win it. We wondered how did he manage to complete the rally until we realized that the navigator too had a problem understanding left and right. So when the navigator looked at the map and there was a left turn, he would say right. Hearing this, my friend would turn left and thus they managed to finish the rally without taking any wrong turns. Although we still have a good laugh about it even today, the funny story raises an important question. Why do some people, in fact almost one in three people are said to find difficulty in understanding left and right and whether it is left and right or die or buy doesn't make much of a difference. Kerlites have been lucky because they are accustomed to knowing what is Edadu and Valadu because of the political system in Kerala. But even then, there are many people who take a left turn when asked to turn right. My friend, for example. And if you are someone who is new in Bangalore, you have even more chances to get confused while asking directions because many a times you are told to take a right or left at a dead end. Well, for all those who are not aware, dead end is a term that Bangaloreans use for a T-junction. So have you wondered why do some of you have this confusion? Is it because of some issue in our brain? That is what we will see in today's video. But before we get into that, please press the subscribe button which you can find on my left, your right or is it my right? I don't know, just press it please. So why do you have a problem deciphering left and right while you have no problems with up and down and forward and backward? What? Are you saying you don't have this problem? Are you sure? Let's test it, shall we? Please take a stopwatch and look at the picture coming up and time yourself as you conduct this experiment. You will see some pictures of hand gestures which are showing up and down. What you need to do is to time yourself saying up or down as you see the pictures. So the first line is down, up, up, down, down. Got the drift? Pause the video and try. Okay, now time it while I rotate the picture 90 degrees. Now try saying the direction each finger is pointing. Pause the video and time the same. Which took longer? Which one did you find easier to say? I am pretty sure the up and down was completed in lesser time than the left and right. So why is there a confusion when you attempt to understand left and right? After all, we are all symmetrical on the outside, right? If we divide a body into two halves, the left and right sides are almost symmetrical. Two eyes, two ears, two hands, two legs, which kind of divides our external body into almost symmetrically left and right halves. But we still have a problem differentiating left and right at times. Science calls this body relative directions or egocentric coordinates which are geometric orientations based on our own bodies. So how do we know what is up and down? That is basically thanks to gravity. We know that anything dropped would fall to the ground due to gravity. So the direction in which the object falls is termed as down and the opposite is up. Easy enough to understand. Then comes forward and backward. For that, we have to rely on our eyes. We have eyes only on one side of our head. So the side where we have our eyes is forward and the opposite is backward. Simple enough. Now when it comes to left and right, we don't have any physical reference that we can use. And that causes the confusion. Also the fact that when we are facing someone, their left appears on your right and adds to the muddle. Do you remember the video that I did on why mirrors switch left and right? If you haven't watched it yet, you can click on the link at the top that will appear on my left, I mean your right. 
It's hardly the end of the world if you take the wrong direction on a road journey. But there are many situations where confusing right from left can have devastating consequences. Some of the most tragic errors in medicine have been when surgery was performed on the wrong side of the patient, that is removing the wrong kidney or amputating the wrong leg, which has happened many times, believe it or not. While there are systems, checks and balances in place to anticipate and minimize these kind of mistakes, when they do occur, human error is often at the root of the cause. Most of the times, this confusion happens when you are in a hurry or you are trying to do too many things in one go. Doctors are often subject to distractions while working, receiving telephone calls, cardiac monitors beeping, taking questions from colleagues, patients and their relatives. The clinical environment can be very challenging. This can increase the chances of getting the left and right wrong. When the patient tells the doctor that there is a pain on his right side, the doctor has to make that visual spatial adjustment to look towards his left to determine if the pain could be appendicitis because the appendix is located on the right hand side of the patient. Such errors can have disastrous consequences if you are a pilot navigating a flight full of people. Those who have difficulty in telling left from right often develop their own techniques. For example, placing their left thumb at right angles to their index finger to make an L representation for their left side. The side where the letter appears in the correct direction is the left side. It appears, however, that these techniques remain imperfect and fail to combat this issue in all cases. So if you are one of those people who do get confused, understand that this confusion is because we don't have a reference system like gravity which helps us to understand up and down or our eyes on one side of the head which helps us understand forward and backward. You can blame evolution for making us symmetrical on our left and right side and causing many of us to have this confusion. I hope you found this episode interesting and what you heard was new information to you. Please comment and let me know if you are one of those who suffer from this confusion and what trick you use to overcome it. It may help others conquer the confusion. If you are someone who likes watching interesting scientific content, please subscribe to the channel and do click on the bell icon and select all so that you would get notifications when I release new videos. Also do join the Facebook page of Pale Blue Thoughts and follow the Twitter handle so that we can interact more often than just under the comment section. Let us build a community of scientific and rational thinkers and debunk as many pseudoscience as we can together. I will be back real soon with yet another interesting video. Until then, this is me Anand saying bye bye from Pale Blue Thoughts.